Dean Watts has been a great supporter of uh, TVN, of course, for Dynamics Indications, bringing you uh, the coverage of the sales over the past three days. Uh, he's supporting it, but he's out there having a dip buying a few horses. He joins us uh, on the set here. Uh, Dean, your job's done. Uh, the main sale's almost over. You're happy with what you've, what you've been able to get to, uh, over the past three days? Yeah, hi Bruce, hi Carol. Hi Dean. Look, uh, we, we purchased two really nice fillies, and that was all we were really coming to the Easter sales to purchase a couple of really well-bred fillies that we could offer to our client base with good residual value so they had the opportunity of not only getting a quality racing prospect but also then uh, an opportunity to create foundation broodmares and I think we've achieved that. We saw you with uh, Richo uh, yesterday uh, having a chat and uh, bravely Richo put on a Dynamics Indications hat. Well uh, I thought uh, Bruce I actually got that pretty well right. I did think it framed his face nightly, it nicely and it did make him look better. I think that was, <laughs> but then again you know it's a, it's a personal opinion, isn't it? He had it on last night and he's out uh, gallivanting. Um, you bought uh, off uh, Yarraman for, for Timmy Hughes, uh, 410, the command's making fate. Tell us about that filly. She was a cracking filly. We we really love the commands as a breed. Mm. From a position where we are buying horses to race, you don't get better horse than command, stock than commands. He's, produces more winners per runners than any other stallion in the country and in particular he's a great Bob's horse and he's mm. the champion Bob's horse as well he produces more uh, Bob's bonus money than any other stallion so that obviously goes down very well for our, from our perspective but importantly it's the female family mm -hmm. this this filly comes from arguably the best um, blood uh, stud book family in New Zealand in uh, the Alinda family and in particular this filly has outstanding credentials in the fact that she's out of a Zabil stakes perform mare in making Fay. Mm -hmm. Importantly, she's produced the group one winning two-year-old Apisu. So at the, our filly is a half-sister to a group one winning two-year-old who she wasn't a one-horse wonder, she, uh, one race wonder. She went on and also won the Golden Stakes in Brisbane. So she won a couple of stakes races and the mare's had five to the races, five winners. And in, that includes handy horses uh, as well, city class horses. So we know that the blood's there. We know that from a confirmational point of view, uh, she was outstanding, but most importantly, from an X-ray position and also from a, a scoping position, she was as clean as a whistle. And that's all we can ask from our horses, that we buy athletic, well-bred horses, which are clean on X-ray. Yeah, you won't even need to go on a voiceover booth for that. We just click that little bit off. Our filly is a half-sister to a Group 1 winning two-year-old in Abbasu. Yeah, are you going to do the ads or get your daughter to do them again? Oh, I think Rachel's... Uh, if, if you listen to Rachel, she's trying to take uh, take control of that area. She thinks that Dad speaks too fast and uh, yaps on too much, so she'd like to take control. Got then Costa Largo too, uh, relatively cheaply for the Costa. They've been off the boil in the market, which I just don't understand. This, this is very much a fashion parade, and in Costa de Lago, he's been champion stallion in this country twice and runner-up four times. Uh, he's doing the job. He's had uh, he's won ten stakes uh, races this season. Uh, his progeny, and he had fresh off a double on last weekend. And here they are. They're basically giving the in Costa de Lagos away, and I just don't understand it. Uh, overall, uh, what's an overview of the sale? We've got Ballarat coming up shortly. Uh, what's your overview of the, of the sale? Very patchy. Um, the quality horses are always in demand and anything by Fastnet Rock uh, has got a high price tag on it. But apart from that, if the horses are clean on x-ray, they're selling. Lots of x-ray issues out there, so that's dampened the market. And it's a patchy market. Not everybody's got a lot of money to spend. Okay, good wrap up. Uh, good on you, Dane. Thanks for your support. Thanks very much to both of you. Dane. I appreciate yeah. everything TVN do for us. Dane Watt, uh, join us from Dynamics Indication. You can go to the website, of course, and uh, you'll learn more about those horses that uh, Dane has purchased.